Theodore Roosevelt served as President of the United States from 1901 to 1909. Teddy, as he was affectionately called, was one of the most colorful U.S. presidents and perhaps the most athletic in terms of outdoor activity. As a youth, Teddy was small and frequently ill, suffering from asthma and other ailments. When he was about 12 years old, his father told him he would need a strong body to give his mind a chance to develop fully. His father built a gymnasium in the family home, and Teddy exercised there, building up unusual physical strength. A native of New York City, Teddy Roosevelt became a member of the New York State Legislature in 1882. In 1884, both his wife and mother died. Saddened, he left politics and moved out west to the Dakota Territory, where he operated two cattle ranches. In 1898, the United States and Spain went to war, and Teddy Roosevelt volunteered to organize a cavalry regiment. The regiment, known as the Rough Riders, consisted primarily of former college athletes and Western cowboys. It won national fame when on July 1st, 1898, on the island of Cuba, Roosevelt led his men in a charge up Kettle Hill, which flanked the Spanish blockhouse on San Juan Hill. The fame that resulted from this charge helped Teddy Roosevelt win the Republican nomination for vice president in 1900, with William McKinley as the presidential candidate. McKinley and Roosevelt went on to win the election. President McKinley was assassinated in 1901, and Roosevelt succeeded him as president. Roosevelt was elected to a full term as president in 1904. After leaving the presidency in 1909, Roosevelt sailed for Africa to hunt big game. He and his hunting party brought down 296 big game animals, including nine lions. Admiration for him grew as the news of his African trip spread, and he again returned home as a hero. In 1912, Roosevelt unsuccessfully tried to regain the presidency as a third-party bull moose candidate. He then resumed his adventurous outdoor life. While exploring the river of doubt in the jungles of Brazil, he contracted a form of jungle fever. The robust, energetic outdoor president's health declined. He died in 1919 of a blood clot in the heart.